Oi, have you heard of the Dog of Days? All righty, yo. Well, welcome to the Dog of Days show, and this is another interview with uh, another dope-ass artist. Uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Peace, peace. My yard. You know what I'm saying? Um, A.K.A. the boy genius, A.K.A. Bruce Bangers. You know what I'm saying? Also known as My Yard Smash. You know what I mean? So, all right, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't just like find this guy in the in the riff rap. He, he's actually family, but it it, it it's and uh, but that's not the only reason I brought him on the show because I got family that, that that's whacking the music game. So, <laughs> uh, not, not everybody's coming on this shit, but uh, no doubt, no doubt. got a lot of projects in the in the pipeline, and I know he's always working. So I uh, and that's why I always want to get on the show. People who are who are know are doing things. So um, we're gonna hop right into the interview. I'm gonna start off straight up. Uh, how would you describe your music, bro? Um, uh, um, I like to call my style jewels and gems. You know what I'm saying? Which is basically like, like, it's so you get that raw street, you know what I'm saying? That raw hip hop, you know what I'm saying? But then you also get, you know what I mean? Some, some, some jewels slotted in there. You know what I'm saying? You get something, you know, not just, you know, shake your booty music, not just, you know what I mean? Like something that you're just going to pass over. It's a little bit of, you get a little bit of both to balance out. You know what I'm saying? So I know what you mean, but I feel like our some of our viewers might need some uh, elaboration on what juice might be. Is there another word for juice that someone else might oh, use? No, jewels, jewels, jewels. I'm, oh, okay. So knowledge. So like you know, so bong. So it's like you know, I I I slide in the knowledge. You know what I mean? In there, like you know, I like to say I put the uh, the medicine in the applesauce. You know what I'm saying? So you don't you don't necessarily know you 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 don't even really detect it. You know what I mean? But you like. You listen, you're like, oh shit, what did he say? Let me let me one. Let me say something it. that's tasty but healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. I got you. I got good you. You too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna learn some stuff probably through this interview about you. Like I know we, we go back, but I probably learned some stuff. Uh do you play any instruments? Um, no, not yet, but I do have a guitar. And I'm gonna want to learn to play that very soon. I've always been a, a fan and a lover of the electric guitar and people who can play the electric guitar well. So, you know. All right. Now, my next question: What made you want to become a musician? Oh. Uh, and I, honestly, I'll compare this with the next question. Uh, do you have any inspirations out there, external from who you know, immediate to you? that is a bigger name guy or whatever that has inspired your growth no doubt so boom i, I so this i'm gonna say that my biggest kind of it's crazy because like you know uh they'll you know if you ask my moms or what have you what have you you know i've always been in you know musically inclined you know what i'm saying she says my first words was from a song right so i've you always know, been you know what song that was Dang, man. I don't know the name of the song, but I know the first words was like either it was like dance. Oh, uh, okay. It was like a dance song. It was like dance, dance. It was some disco shit or something. Okay, something all right. Was, yeah, it makes sense. Time my was something my moms was banging, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, but um I've always been involved in hip hop and uh, uh hip hop culture. Um, like I have older cousins, you know what I'm saying, who you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know our old. You know what I'm saying? The, um, our older uh, uh, cousins are uh, uh, the Gabby Duns. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So, yeah, they. Uh, uh, I used to be with them like every summer. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, after you know the moms and pops broke. You know what I mean? That I used to be at my aunt's house every summer, and they was heavily into hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Heavily into the rap scene. So. I got that was kind of like my first introductions, you know, like they was they they break. They was B-boys. They was, you know, graffiti artists. They was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it was the like, line. that's the bloodline. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like it was it was crazy because I remember being like they was like, oh, we need a little guy. 
we need to have a little guy that because everybody got a little guy that comes through, you know what I'm saying? Like a youngster. So they try, you know, so they taught me a couple of moves, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So I could do a couple of things, you know what I mean? Boom. boom. Um, but uh, 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 it wasn't until like, you know, like in my, um, you know what I mean? This, you know what I mean? My cousin used to record all the videos and whatnot like that, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, because I didn't have cable and nothing like that. So one time he was like just going through playing these different videos and different joints. And uh, he played this uh, this track by uh, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Ain't No Half Stepping. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, man, I was like, yo, this is the coolest motherfucker on the planet. I ain't <laughs> seen nobody cooler than this dude right here. He's street, he, he, he smooth. He getting the girls, yo. This is everything. This is this is it. What else would I want to be? And right. he getting paid. You see his jewelry. You see his rings. You know what I'm saying? The dude's getting paid. You know what I mean? Doing all that. So so you know, bong. It was like okay. And like I said, this was me as a youngster, youngster. Like like you know, elementary school. Not even. You know what I mean? Like bong. Like just just like yo. Like you know. Like just just soaking up what the elders was listening to you know what i'm saying and seeing what they was do checking out and being and being attracted that way um as far as like music in general and that what made me want to do rap to be honest with you but as for music in general um <laughs> and it's crazy cuz it always goes back to a visual you know yeah. what i'm saying um uh my uh Older and, and same with my older cousins. Uh they uh sat me and well they was they was uh watching uh Purple Rain. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this was like I was still a youngster, you know what I'm saying? So like they they, they got the purple rain on, Princess Purple, they like, yo, you ain't even supposed to be up in here watching this with us. You know what <laughs> This is too advanced for you, fam. So don't just sit back, relax. Don't, I don't want to hear nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? If we hear something from you, you're going to have to leave the room. Straight like that. That's how they broke it down to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. So, so, bong, um, I, you know, I'm watching it like, and, and the funny part about it was I was so silent, they forgot I was in the room. <laughs> they was, there was, you know what I mean? Somebody turned around. I was like, turned around. I was like, I think somebody said something. It was just like the movie was over. You know what I'm saying? Dunn was starting to have a conversation about the movie and whatnot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I said something like at the end, like, yeah, that movie was, you know, it was like, oh, you still in it? Like, yeah. oh, you, know what I'm like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so, so that was kind of like, uh, you, that's, that's what happened with that. And, uh, and that's what kind of like, you know, and, and, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's just like his Prince musically has always been great influence on me, whether, you know what I mean? I, I watched his interviews, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 and like, just the way his thought processes on creating um his creativeness you know what i'm saying always was heavy influence on how especially now when i do production you know what i mean so like yeah. you know you know you you, I, you know you start off as just an mc you know what i'm saying and that's how i started you know and i moved into production so like but but it was always there too you know what i mean so yeah that's actually wild you say that because Prince is actually one of my like hidden inspirations that I don't really talk about much. But I mean, like, I don't know if I really played like all the instruments and like, he was like, who creative as shit? Word. Who can, you know what I'm saying? And then the way, and like, I, you know, I, I mentioned earlier the electric guitar, the way this man plays the electric guitar, he make that, 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 that joint cry. He make it yell and scream. He, you know what I'm saying? He's, man. Gene, you know what I mean? Magic, magic. He's magic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that leads me perfectly into the next question. What qualities do you think make a great musician? Um, well, see, I just as as far as as being a great musician is always being able to grow. You know what I mean? I think that you always have to be open to growing and creating the better version of you. That's, you know what I'm saying? Wisdom right there. That's, that's um, real. Yeah. I, 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 besides that, like, you know, and, and talent, of course, you know what I mean? But besides that, 
you know, I think that's what it is. It's about being able to, and as well as being able to take off your mask. I, this, that's a hard one for a lot of people. That's a hard one. Listen, it's the like, hardest for everyone. It's the hardest for everyone to be truly vulnerable, to be open with not only yourself of who you really are, but to the world who you yeah. really are. And not just the facade of an artist or whatever brand you're putting out there for the world to see. Exactly. Oh yeah, I just, it's actually why you said that too. Because I think one of the last interviews we did, I I mentioned that too. Is that that vulnerability is a huge thing because I've I've worked with and in the fact you said growth too. My mind went right to that vulnerability part because like I can't tell you how many times I've had someone come into a studio session and they had all the talk before we got to the studio session. When we got down to actually laying something out, clammed right up. Like mm. it's just it's just. I don't know if it was just there were too many heads around or now it became real. So I was just like, oh, you actually want to make something now? I, th I thought we would drink first. I thought we would hang out. I thought we would kick back. No, no I came to record, bro. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So now Put this, this work in. We stuff. came to do the work. We came exactly. here to do the work, not for the play. Yeah. You know we I mean? can play after for sure. You can definitely Word. play but Word. hey let's let's get some work in first and I, yeah all right so this is going to be a little self-reflective on yourself two side of question your strengths and your weaknesses um My strength and my weakness is almost the same. I feel that honestly, like I since I asked, I was like, yeah, it can be, it can be the same. Like, you know what I mean, I feel it. yeah, it's, go ahead. yeah, it's like my my want for making a song quality, sound quality. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but I just know that there is a sound quality that I want things to come out with. And if I can't get it, I'll sit. You know what I mean? Um, you know what the other thing is too, you know, like, um, cause that's, a, like I said, I, the other thing that I, I find that is a strength and a weakness of mine is uh, just, releasing shit sometime. We did it. You probably sit on a bunch of projects. <laughs> Man, listen. There's so much music I've like just and the crazy part about it is because I sat on it, I lost it. Like 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 old computers or oh, yeah, yeah, old computers uh you know <laughs> I lost I, I lost the whole album that was written in my phone. So you know what I mean? Like boom, because I didn't lay it down or because I didn't transfer over the, the files and backup things, the phone and it's I done. Hear that. You know, um I think that's the kind of the reason why I, my last project was called Release the Art. Because it was kind of a reminder of myself, like just put it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that, that that's my advice to anybody. Honestly, like, and I know it's not always sound as advice because there is a there is some sense to making and tailoring your music to a certain tier. But like, my mind, where my mind goes when it comes to producing, it just it's like I don't know. I, first of all, I don't know anybody that's gonna be able to release my music for me if I just get hit by a car or some shit or some like. And so my music's gonna die with me if I don't release it. So right. I feel like if it was given to me by whatever ethers or universe sent me the idea to make the song, it's like my responsibility to like get it out because at that point I'm fucking hoarding it, uh, and that's not what it was given to me for. I mean, I'm like, it might have been, but I don't think so. <laughs> but you know what's the crazy part about that is as well, right? So like, but then there's serendipity that just happens, right? 
Like, take for example my song um Air Ain't Free, right? Now we wrote, recorded Air Ain't Free during Obama administration, right? But Floyd happened in Trump administration. I ended up releasing a song during Trump administration. Damn. During the Floyd, after the Floyd thing, which That's was perfect, time, which was perfect timing because it was all was, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it just brought everything to a full circle with the I can't breathe and the do 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 and you know what I'm saying and then like I said the title of the song was Air Ain't Free. That's dude, and that's how I yeah, yeah. that's the shit where I'm like there is a god somewhere there is something. Things we might not we definitely don't know what's happening, but we're like vessels of communication, even to ourselves. I feel like sometimes I've made songs where I literally would be listen to it like years later and I'm like. I'm giving myself advice right now. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, so like I said, sometimes it works. Sometimes it, you know what I mean. Like boom, like it, you know, the song doesn't come out because you know your computer crashed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know, bro. You know, maybe it's you know. So you know, whatever. You know what I mean? It happens, but you know, you just as an artist, you just like. Man, I'm creative as hell. I'm just gonna put out, make something else up. You know, you you know, you hurt your heart hurts a little bit because every project is a baby. You know what I mean? It's it's a child you birth. So it's like, you know, like when the project is at like eight months of you know what I'm saying, she's due next month. You know? <laughs> and then everything, and then you lose the baby, it's like, oh. Oh my God! You gotta grieve and shit. You <laughs> gotta <laughs> grieve. You gotta grieve. It's gonna take a little bit of time. You done named the baby. You bought, <laughs> you bought, you bought, you bought cribs for the kid. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know all kinds of shit's going on. So now you like, oh man, you gotta yeah. get rid of the crib. You gotta, you know, change the baby room into a regular room, into an office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? So you be hurt. <laughs> it's facts, though, for sure. Though. <laughs> you be hurt. You know what I'm saying? You be hurt. You don't want to move. You don't. Want, you know what I'm saying? It's just the same thing. Like you don't even want to. <laughs> you don't even want to believe the baby dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? You like I didn't lose those five. Nah, I can get them back somehow. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah. You're singing that your chorus over and over again. <laughs> Word, word, and it's just like it's not happening, fam. It's it's gone. Mm. It's move, That's a painful analogy, but it works. Even, even though, it, yeah, but even in the moving on part, it's like you're still, like you said, you're grieving. You're sitting, you're grieving over the loss. So it's like, how do I even start a new project? How do I? How do I think of? You know what I'm saying? I just lost my baby. Like you know what I'm saying? What am I thinking of? You know. Right. What I'm Quit, you know, <laughs> you know, so so yeah, so that's what it is, you know what I mean? But yeah, nah, damn, you got me my chicks, she's her cheeks hurting on that one. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh any long-term goals? This is the part where I feel like you're you you you're starting telling everyone about anything you got in the works that you got planned. Uh and also just I guess your overall goal in the music game. Um, overall goal of the make music game is to make a memorable mark. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can really do, and all you can really hope for is to leave a memorable mark. And what's um, your mark represent? Um, the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my mark represents. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cut from that cloth Duns be talking about, like, you know what I mean? That they don't make no more. You know what I'm saying? It's a, I don't, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a hip hop artist. I make rap music. You know what I'm saying? Um. However, like when people listen to my music, they'd be like, oh, 
you know, like, like, cause I don't really necessarily make modern or pop rap or pop hip hop or modern style hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even, I don't even want to say modern pop. I don't make pop hip hop because I do make modern because real hip hop is every day, all day and don't ever die. This is the thing that people forget because we got people like Griselda. We got people like Rome Streets. We got ST Nat. We got a whole bunch of P eight, eight, um, uh, older great. We got a whole slang and slew of duns who's like, they may not be top 40 billboards, but what real rap was ever top 40 billboard? Facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I continue that that era of the Sean P's, of the Prodigy, of the Bust of Rhymes, of the, you know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the you know what I mean? Uh, um and, and production styles of the RZA, Just Blaze, even Kanye West, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to his raw shit, because people forget as a producer, he's like, he's amazing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I like him as a lyricist as well. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about in his production and the sound that he creates for other people. You know what I mean? Because that's not necessarily the sound he creates for himself. Um, but, um, you know, the push of tease, the you know what I'm saying? And um, I think I carry on that tradition. You know what I mean? Of raw rap. And like, you know, like... like in that. The, in yeah, and that's and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just I just carry on that tradition, and that's the mark that I want to keep. I want to keep that tradition of rawness alive. You know what I mean? R.I.P. K. Slade. You know what I'm saying? Boom, one of the illest DJs. You know what I'm saying? One of the dudes who still made. You know what I mean? Like you know, like you know, like again, like you know, most people know about DJ Khaled. You know what I'm saying? But they don't know about K. Slade. But K. Slade's the dude who's gonna make a track called. 50 deep and have 50 of the best rappers on one track. And that's going to be from all levels as long as they the illest. So you got Benny the Butcher, you got uh, uh, Sheik Looch, you got, you know what I'm saying, Ghostface, you got, you know what I'm saying, all the different, you got Pat Poos, you know what I'm saying, you got all these different generations of raw rap on one track. You know what I'm saying? And that's all, like I said, that's all I'm striving to do. Continue that, 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 that saga for those who can't continue it. You know what I mean? Keep on making that real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that, that's actually awesome because like, it would be fair to say you're almost like taking that baton and keeping it going. Facts, 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 facts. Yes. And honestly, that's needed. I, I feel like needed because I feel like we get trapped in this idea that something has happened now we're not allowed to do it again. But if anything, I feel like the smart musicians start realizing it's there for us to not only recreate, but put our own twist on it to keep it alive in our own way, to also keep them alive in their own way, in their own right. perspective, right? As long as the credit's being given and everything, like everyone should be eating and everyone should be giving their, 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 due, their due credit all the way down the line, I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I know some music from the fucking 30s and shit now because of just certain credits that I followed all the way down. Right. From samples that people have used all the way up to now. So it's like, although I didn't, I wasn't a fan of the music in the 30s, now you I know, know about it. it. Exactly. Like, exactly. Well, that, that's yeah, cool. that's what's beautiful about this world, honestly. And I feel like in the music world. Yep. But also, it's like a catch-22 because it, it, we, we fall into the trap of thinking, oh, it's, it's been done. We, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, right, I, right. I always want covers, but then you want to create something unique to yourself. But it's like, I don't know. I um, feel like there's always room for being unique and always room for doing something new. Um, I just think that at the same token, when you want to be, when you go, when you go to sometimes some extremes of being unique, and new, you are something unique and new. You are no longer what you actually started out as anymore. And you have to understand that too. Like, I think that there's a lot of people that don't like, you know, like, like a person can like, like can have the ability to rap, right? But that does not make them a rapper. You know what I mean? A person 
you know what I'm saying, no mean know how to put words together and rhyme, but that doesn't necessarily, you know what I mean? Like, like to me, like when I hear all music, all music rhymes, mm -hmm. that's what's the catchy part of music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Reggae, uh uh, uh RB, country, they all use rhyming words. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they're all different genres. They're all different genres for a reason. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and again, when you go too far left or too far right, you kind of leave where you're at. And you got to understand that you are something new. And I think that a lot of people don't want to do that either. And 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 when in doing that, you would realize. And, when, and in doing that, you a lot of people would realize, like, because you know, hip hop is the baby of reggae music. You know what I'm saying? Like reggae music, you have dance hall, yeah. but then you have roots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And roots is roots. Roots don't change up. Roots is roots. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like I feel like when we talk about, you know, hip hop and the different things that other people do, that's not roots. No. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah we're striving, I'm, I'm striving to keep roots going the way they need to go. And roots don't ever die. Roots might go underground. Yeah. They don't die, though. But it don't die. They don't, don't die. die. And everybody, you know, it's fucked up. That no matter where you're at, roots going to make you move. Right. Right. <laughs> no matter who you is, roots right. gonna make you move. <laughs> right, right, right. You're gonna be like, what is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so this is gonna get a little outside of the music. Do you have any hobbies or interests outside of music? Hey babe. Oh, hell yeah. Um, it's weird because you know, like all of my hobbies, I think um become part of my musical journey though you know what i mean like i'm a i'm an avid i'm, I'm a big you know what i'm saying i'm an avid uh comic book head i love you know what i'm saying anime um uh i love to cook there's all kinds of you know what i'm saying all these things i feel like takes part into you know when i'm writing a rhyme when you know what i'm saying when uh i'm putting something together you know what i'm saying like i'm taking these these other arts that I do and I'm like using those as actually you know what I mean like like you know what I mean I kind of use those as well into creating Isn't how it? yeah yeah how I create the shit mm -hmm. um you know you'll always you you can often hear you know uh uh comic book references in my rhymes you can yeah. often hear anime references in my rhymes um movie you know what I mean like uh uh yeah so that's important stuff because honestly your anime references would probably go right over my head <laughs> now I mean, I, 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 you know what I mean. Like, you know what is the crazy part about it is, is that they, I try to keep it um, uh, uh simple. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, it's like you got to also go with the rhyming words too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, what you, you know what I mean? So um, what I said, I said, I, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said um, walk a, I said uh, I walk a mile in my shoes until the soles fall out. Then walk the land barefoot until the bones come out. Kima Maru. Hit six styles hard to fuck. You know what I'm saying? So if yeah. you know who Kima Maru is from <laughs> Naruto, he pull the bones out and get you with the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> walk the land barefoot until the bones come out. Kima Maru. Hit you make me feel lame. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, bomb. So yeah, you know, I, I you know, I, I I mix it in there, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, I, I you know, I don't, I don't think it's a too above head. If you if you were anime head, you know what I mean? I don't think you're gonna miss it. I don't think you're gonna miss it. You're gonna be like, hold on, what, right. what show is that, yo? What when you say? I know that name. I know that name. I know that place. You know what I mean? Especially you know, like you still gotta make it a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, uh comprehensible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, it's going to be put in a metaphorical way that is going to fit the sentence. Oh, you yeah. know? All right, man. Um, I don't really have any more questions. I guess at this moment, I would just uh, tell everyone how to find your music online. Um, okay. You know what? You know what we didn't talk about? 
um, because we kind of led because I kind of I think I went on a tangent and forgot to talk about the projects. Yeah, no, that's what I'm, we're going to get right into that. Like, it, 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 this is your your chance to talk about any projects you're working on. Um, okay. I would also mention that you, your your shows that you're working on. Um, okay. you're always working on, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, um, far as uh, uh, like, um, so on, you know, on social media and stuff like that. I got a couple of uh, I got a hip hop show that we do, um, on uh, Wednesdays and um, Saturdays, which is on uh, uh Bigo TV. We do that on there. You know, what I'm saying a hip hop show over there. Um, it's pretty dope. It's called Smoking Controversy. Um, we just you know, there? Uh, M. Dot Smash, M. Dot Smash. You can see me on there. You know what I mean. Um, I'm a lot of times just building beats, and um, you know, you can see me engineering stuff. You know what I mean. If you want to see me like creating music live, that's really like I, I do a lot of that there. Um, and you can really get in contact with me and touch. You know what I mean. And ask me any like personal questions. Really dig into the brain if y'all want to. Um, as well as you know, we have in, um, a couple of projects going on. Um, I have uh, an AMU, a AMU mixtape that we're doing, but it's more or less from the producer's side. So, you know, um, besides myself who produces all my projects, I have another producer called Dub the Ghost. His name is Dub the Ghost. He's another producer who's who features basically on, like, and since we met in college, he's been featured on all of my joints. You know what I'm saying? He makes stuff that I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm taking that beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Fuck You is actually one of his beats. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That I engineered and I added a little touch to it. And you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. But it's his beat. Um, And uh, yeah, so, you know, we're going to put together a, 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 a compilation, all of our beats, you know what I'm saying, with different artists. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to, we were talking about, um, maybe 12 or 13 tracks, something like that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, artists from um, all over the United States, all over the world. You know what I mean? Because I got connects with Duns out in London and different things like that. So got a couple of guys out there that I want to, you know, work with as well. Um, also, uh, my project is going to come out. Don't know the title, though, yet. Because I got, like... To be honest with you, I've got like three titles in my head of things that I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like that I'm going to use. Like they're all going to come out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're all going to come out. But, the you joy know, of being a creative person. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's just, you know, they're all like, you know, so, you know, um, but the uh, first single off of that, which as soon as we get the uh, cover art done, you know what I'm saying? It'll be all set to go, which will be called Dictation. You know what I'm saying that's going to be the first single. Um, and then, um, you know, it was going to probably follow that up with a, a small EP that I got, you know what I mean? A few, some crazy bangers that I just been sitting on and you know what I mean? And, uh, uh you know, I, I went through a little, uh, as we all did, we had a lot of traumas going on during the COVID time, highs and lows and whatnot like that. So, you know, I fell back for a little bit because, you know what I'm saying, just to, you know, stay focused and, and, and be mindful of myself and my surroundings. But, yeah, now I'm, like, ready to get dig back in. So it's uh it's going to be cool. Um, So I have that. I also have uh, um uh, a project I'm working with, this R&B artist named uh, Coley. She is, like... Bajork meets Erica Badu, you know what I'm saying? And we're like, uh, so we're working on some, uh, some, some, I'm working on some tracks for her project. We're going to be recording next month, actually, a lot of this, you know what I'm saying, a few tracks, what have you, what have you. Um, I got a, 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 re, a, a, a single remix with her, you know what I mean, as well. You know, she does production as well. So, she, you know, she's got some, some she's a great all around creative artist. It's gonna be, you know, what I'm saying. I think it's gonna be really hot. Um, I enjoy Bajork. I enjoy Erica Badu. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> am, you know what I'm saying? I am, I'm ready to get this in. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are the, a uh, 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 couple of, you know, and as well as, you know, um, you know, I got, a uh, some production on this female artist, uh, Hood Scarlet's album. I've got some production, uh, I'm working with, um, ST Knack to do some more production with him. Um, few guys, few guys, you know what I mean? It's just striving to make it happen. And, uh, you know, a couple of other things that it's kind of under wrap because, you know, you don't want to talk before they, they, they manifest. I get you know that. what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be... It sounds like you're oh, busy as well. shit. As well. Right. One well. more project, another project that's actually, <laughs> that, you know what I mean, boom, is um, called Crimson Guards. Guards? Yeah, yeah. So I have a brother you know what I'm saying? That uh like you know what I'm saying, brother through walks of life, you know what I'm saying? Like boom. And um and uh we've 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 been uh rapping together for years, you know what I'm saying, but we never put anything out. He was always in and out of the bank. So you know what I'm saying, he ain't really never you know what I mean. So now we're kinda at a point where, you know, like we got like a whole nother team of production, a whole nother team, you know what I'm saying, like boom, that's like my extended family type shit. You know what I'm saying? And we're ready to like start working on that as well, which is gonna be like I would say like some boot camp meets Wu Tang, like meth ghost face, like type sounding type shit. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> It's gonna like you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be it's gonna be raw, yo. It's gonna be raw. Like it's gonna be really, really raw. I already like you know what I mean. We already started working on one track. Man, listen, I just was like, I spazzed out. I spazzed out. <laughs> spazzed out. Like the writing is, you know what I mean? Like, cause uh we always have like a great friendly competition. So we feed off of each other a lot. And it's more like, you know what I mean? And it's like no, neither one of us can get outdone. You know what I'm saying? It should be everyone's fire. Yes, yeah, so it, <laughs> it should be really, really crazy. It should be good, and and um, I definitely I, we got the um, I know I'll have me a project coming out this summer. Um, we're looking at the uh, uh the um the AMU project. Um, should be out by September. We were trying to get it for like the beginning of the school year kind of thing. Um, the uh. Coley single should be out sometime this summer. Um, yeah, so that's really what that is, you know, for our project right now. Anyways, right now, uh, you know, uh, yeah. things, things can always get added on and changed, you know. But you know, that's I don't know how you're gonna have. Sounds like you busy as shit as is. <laughs> Listen, you know, with the right money, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the thing is, it's like you're you, you're busy, but you get you get more time. When you're getting paid for what you love, yeah. you know what I mean, I can do more of you know what I'm saying. So, you know, as long as it keeps on elevating, you know, um, it should be, you know, you're gonna have a lot of stuff to come out. Got to have a lot of stuff to come out. Thanks. So you you told us how to contact you personally and everything. So what if you just want to go listen to your music? Oh well, I'm on all streaming platforms. You just look up my yard, you know what I'm saying? And you should find me on Apple, YouTube, uh, uh YouTube, uh it's my yard or is it my yard smash? Well not nah, if you just look up if you go in just put in my yard, you'll find me on Apple Music, Amazon, um, and that's M Y A R T all one word. Um, you'll find me on Amazon, you'll find me on Spotify, all that shit. Um, I did the My Yard Smash stuff, um, generally is to try to like knock all like uh, uh like you know my, my my facebook and a couple of other things like that smaller things because just having a my art is kind of hard you know what i'm saying um that's where you know what i mean that's part of the smash the other part of the smash is that i'm just a great hulk fan and you know you know what i'm saying and i'm a gemini you know what i'm saying i'm a hulk fan and i'm a gemini so you know I watch I out to, for you. yeah so i had to put some smash in it you know what i'm saying um which you know it's crazy because uh, uh when I did a, a, a like a, a a talent show in a, a, a in my college, I, I, you know what I mean a freshman year of college, I did a talent show and uh, you know 
And it was like, okay. And, you know, we was talking about the My Yard Smash thing and da 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 da. And, you know, I had this ill green Hulk face shirt on that night. And uh, after I performed, you know, you know, you know, you know, they ask you a couple of questions before you rock, boom, rock. And after I perform, and then, you know, they're giving me, a, you know, their critiques and da 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 da. And, you know, they were like, yeah, you are the Hulk. Like, we was not expecting what you just came on stage and gave us from, you know what I mean, your demeanor in a way that, you know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, with that mic in my hand, the monster, the monster come out, the monster come out, especially give me in front of a crowd. Right. Woo, love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah, man. All right, but well, before we get we, we end this, uh, anything else you want to share with any, everybody or? Um, you know, also, you know, follow me on IG, my y'all smash on Instagram. Um, uh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, besides that, let me just make sure I say, you know, you know, shout out to, uh, uh, Kaizen, uh, peace to the gods and earths. Peace to black man, woman, and child. And I'm, you know what I mean? That's, you know, like, boom. That's, yeah, that's that's all I got to add on. Oh, yeah, bro. All all right, right, well. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> after I end this. But, all right, y'all, y'all know how to find them. My Art Smash, My Art Smash on uh, Bego, My Art on Spotify, Apple, iTunes. Hell, I'm sure if you just Google My Art Smash, you're going to find them. So, there you go. What's that? Crystal B. Crystal B.